Hi, Linda. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so, have you had a good week? <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, very busy. Oh, excellent. Um, we're talking about customer retention and the importance of customers today. Um, if you could shed some light on the Joshua Tree and how customers are important for a charity such as yourself would be great, please. Uh, yes, I think uh, as I've said previously, we're a very local charity. Um, so um, certainly the people in our local area are getting to hear about us a little bit more. Um, and I think it's very important for us to uh, keep in contact with them, to let them know what's happening. Um, I think when you are a, a very small charity, it's quite hard because obviously there's only a couple of us here. Um, but I think one of my priorities is to make sure that we do keep in touch with certainly the people that support us and are interested in what we're doing. So we're, you know, we're trying to put things in place now. I know we've got a long way to go, but uh, so that uh, people are regularly updated, so that they can and they can always come into the the office and you know ask us how we're doing and um, yeah. So it, it's extremely important. And I know we're in our infancy but uh, you know we've got a long list of things that, that we want to try and get in place yeah and how do you keep people interested you know constantly interested in what you do and keep people get people to come back um, I think uh, it's, it's a definitely a two-way thing. Um, we love to hear what people have been doing for us. So if people have an event for us, you know, we ask if they've got photos or anything, and then we can share that on the website or um, Facebook and things like that. So it's very much a case of, um, you know, we want to share that information. And I think it's good for other people to see what others are doing as well, because that will give them ideas. Um, and, um, yeah, I think as well, giving the people that have helped us a bit of publicity too, that's always a good thing um, so yeah I think it's about um, helping each other yeah so um, I'm just trying to think of an example but I know um, we've got contact with the local press and so what we try and do is if, you know if something happens and we have an article written and we you know we include whoever's been helping us um, in that article and um, so again it's, it's a bit like a partnership working I think so that we both get something very positive from from an event or from money raised and what do you feel your customers well your your client base I suppose or your your um, sponsors would like to see from you um, I think uh, they're always interested in where we're up to with the project. I think with a project like ours, because we've got to raise so much money, sometimes it's hard to see that progression. But there's always things happening in the background and, you know, we are progressing each week, really, and different things are happening. Um, I think from our point of view, it is quite hard sometimes because we're such a small charity um, and there is a lot to do. And so, you know, the the time between you know, we get a task and it actually happening might be slightly longer in our case just because, uh, you know, it's trying to uh, split the time to do the different tasks. But uh, I think it's, it's seeing that progression and, you know, we hope just to, keep our funders informed of where we're up to and what is happening so that they can see that things are going ahead and that we're not just static um, but their money has been well used really so um, yeah that's what we hope to try and get across all right thank you very much linda so we've come to the end of um our final series of the video diary it's been lovely talking to you and thank you so much for everything oh it's been great to be involved so thank you thank you